Good evening ladies and gentlemen, how are we getting on? Welcome back to Finch Farm once again. Uh, today we're going to convert the Finch's existing home into a small shop, now that they've moved up onto the overpass there. So I suspect this will be the last of the building videos on this one, and I've just got a couple of finishing touches to do and then the tour for next week I think. So as always, if you like what you see, do hit that big red button. Let's get stuck in. So there's quite a lot of rubbish to get rid of in here. It took a little while. The annoying part about this was all the little bits of junk and trash lying around, the, the tin cans and the bottles there. I'm using Scrap That Settlement to get rid of the uh, beds here, which are finally switched back on. Uh, you can't delete them otherwise, at least as far as I can tell you can't, anyway. So, the last bit of de -crapifying. We should be ready to go. I've left a couple of the signs up, as uh, it is Abraham Finch's place after all. I'll put a few more up later on. So the first thing I'm going to do is close off this back edge. And whilst I could have used these security fences, they would have fit. They stick up over the uh, beam at the top there a bit, and yeah, it doesn't look very good. So we'll skip over that plant, and yeah, again, same thing with the uh, junk fence there. Fits really quite nicely, but doesn't quite do the job because it sticks out at the back. Yeah, as you can see, and leaves me with no usable space. So the idea is to turn this into kind of mini office stroke strong room type thing. Somewhere for him to keep any caps he makes and do any uh, paperwork he might have to do. So, tried a couple of other bits and pieces, they're much thinner, but not quite tall enough. So, straight onto ordinary uh, shack walls because obviously they fit the gap. So that was more cooperative than I expected it to be, this. It would have more collision issues. Ah, a handy oil lantern. Oil lamp. So before you can use basically anything that grips the floor for this. Generally easier to do if you've got a flat surface to start with, but it's not really an option here at Finch Farm. Not unless it was going to run all the way up to the uh, overpass anyway, and I didn't fancy that. So, it went well. Slide that in, and there we go. It clips quite nicely into the post either side as well there, so it looks reasonably smooth as well. It's ever so slightly cockeyed, but close enough. So, for the other side. There's um, an ordinary door frame, like that. Won't fit in without using a uh, place anywhere. We're going to construct our own, which I'm really pleased with how this one turned out. It looks pretty neat, which is cool. So this door looks reasonably scavenged, so it's in keeping with the rest of the settlement. Make sure we get it the right way around. And uh, also looks reasonably secure as well, which I was quite happy about. So groups like that into place. Just behind the line, so it's on a level with the posts. This is uh, an ordinary vanilla wall piece, which actually works quite well. It's a bit small, but it's reasonably forgiving. It went in a lot more conveniently than I was expecting it to. But uh, the modded ones do the job a little better, and they're even softer, so... A barn post did not work. I was going to use it for a door frame, but uh, it's just too tall, it would stick through the top. So we'll go with the custom vanilla assets, uh, wire fence post, double height wire fence post, which is turning out to be very, very versatile and possibly my new best friend there. So I'll nudge that in. If you get nice and close to it, you drop it reasonably close and then get right up to it. It seems to be a lot easier to make things sit where you want them. This, as I said, is uh, a lot easier. These things are very, very soft and forgiving. You just slide it straight into the wall to the left there, as you'll see in a second, which is very, very convenient. There we go, obviously that leaves a gap, but we're going to use the other one of these. Both added by Unlock Settlement Objects. There we go. There's the other one. And uh, use the flat edge, because it should be neater with the post we've got in. No, no we didn't. Use the other one to fill the gap better. By the way, look at that. No glitching necessary, straight together. I can even adjust it as well. Which leaves the gap over the top there. So, double width is not going to work, which means the single one won't work either, because it's just too tall. So custom vanilla assets will provide again, which we'll use the planks. 
This one that I always have in my head and just keep referring to as Planko. It's Plank Zero, obviously, but, you know. Planko is much more amusing. So we'll just line up the height. Fortunately, because it's a reasonably high reef, the concrete pillar will uh, play ball, which makes it a bit easier. We'll fit underneath it, rather. So there we go. Make sure we can uh, fit between the rafters there. And there we go. Nice and easy. I'll try to stop being so fussy about it anyway. The good thing about this technique is you can make it as neat or as ramshackle as you like. And it gets a, a happy medium here, I think. There we go. Look at that. Whoops, left the lamp post there. There we go. Okay, so looking at Aslam's uh, workshop decoration pack again here, there's a, a variety of various different uh, vendor counters. I don't think any of these actually work directly on their own as vendors. You need to put a rug behind them, which is fine. But we're going to go with this variation. There's one for each of the uh, different store sites, each with the appropriate decoration, which is very cool. And it gives us the opportunity to put something that looks a little bit different in here. So we'll go back to the general store and use the basic one for that. I'll uh, decorate it up a little more in a bit. There we go. So, we can see here, Aslam's clearly uh, modified the heights of us slightly because uh, getting the surface the correct height for the animation is a bit of a pain. It does mean when I come to extend it here, it's a little bit more of a challenge, but the barrels are the right height, so they'll do. There we go. There's lined up. I actually spent ages doing that, but... Don't need to watch me fiddling with it. So, plywood was my first thought for the top, but it's just far too wide. Even the smaller ones have the same problem. They just look very, very unstable. So, we'll take the same principle as some used on his section and put some planks together for it. There we go. Separate them ever so slightly so that they don't look like they're a solid piece. And we'll just group select them out of the way, move them onto the grass so we can uh, adjust the height. Try not to take the cooking station with me. And after a little bit of trial and error, there we go. We did make a slight error here. And that, uh, the whole thing's far too far forward. Yeah, you can see that uh, the front plank is basically suspended in midair. So we'll pull that off and put it on the back. Could have tried the whole thing again, but it would have just been time consuming and annoying, so. And no guarantee I'd have got it right the next time either, I suppose. But there we go. So mostly decoration from here on out. It's a dead simple little uh, conversion this one. So stick a few shells down, put one of my favourite tables in the corner. a few of these objects just turn yellow because uh, uh, scrap that cell doesn't switched on. They act normally when uh, it's switched off though, which is uh, an interesting little discovery. These uh, couches are uh, um, fairly modular, look quite cool. I did want to use something a bit different there, but uh, unfortunately, unless you're going to rug glitch everything into place, then uh, they're a bit of a pain to work with, get them looking right. So I gave up and went for this one in the end. I didn't really want to leave the rugs in place in uh, such a small environment and then have things catching on them and stuff. So, another one of uh, Aslam's fen fences. It's the other mod. Uh, Aslam's shelves. Still don't think I can't even remember what it's called. Uh, drop another one in just around here. Well, that certainly speeds the decoration along quite a bit. Gonna have to uh, dial back my use of these a little bit, I think, otherwise everything's gonna wind up looking the same. But for this place, for now, it's looking pretty good. Just put one in there as well. 
There we go. She ended up pulling that locker out, but it does look quite cool, so a little regretful over that. So, this is going to be possibly the world's most confined office space. Aslam's mod does provide uh, terminals that will go on the top of these desks, but because the space is so narrow and it barely fits in at all, I needed to use one of the USO ones and then put a set of files next to it just to cluster it up a bit more. But, the end result works. Put the uh, terminal in first and slide the desk underneath. Theoretically, you don't need the rug for that, but it's just because the walls are so close together I needed it. Nice narrow chair so that uh, we can actually get in there. Unfortunately, it's, I spent ages looking for this dratted safe. Found the other one okay, but I don't think this one, uh, a little icon for it didn't appear, I don't think. So it made it a total nightmare and I ended up scrolling through menus for about five minutes trying to find the damn thing. Turned out to be right where I was looking in the first place. Over there. Confined space. Collision, so on and so forth, so we'll rug glitch that in. Probably without the post sticking right through it. There we go. I did put a filing cabinet in there that took absolutely ages, but uh, we uh, gave up on that idea. So, a little bit on the junk decoration front. I'm using Freemaker just to uh, spawn in all the bits of pieces of junk and such like that I want to put around the place. Much, much easier this way. Saves me uh, scouring the Commonwealth for stuff to decorate with. So we'll select um, a few bits of pieces that are relevant to the place we're working on. Just get a few of them dumped into the inventory. As you see, I've already put some bins out for them. So I'm just going to drop stuff in there. I've got a few that are chock full of light bulbs and other things like that. We're just going to have a look at uh, a few bits and pieces here. So we'll drop stuff on the floor, hammers in this case, pick it up as normal outside of the build menu, and we're going to use Tim Timmons Make Static to uh, stop everything flying around and getting knocked off. So we'll just drop it into place, select it using Square for Make Static, go into the Pip Boy under the miscellaneous section of the inventory, Make Selection Static. And there we go, a little flicker, and it's done. A quick watch again so you can uh, see it a little more closely. This mod is very, very handy. It makes OCD decorators pretty much redundant. There's a couple of things in OCD that we can't do this way. But uh, for a lot of things, when I find that last missing hammer, which is actually up on the... Uh, there we go. Up on the sh tabletop there. For a lot of things, this gives a lot more versatility. It means we put things wherever we want. Stuff doesn't fly off into the distance when you're trying to put it down. Which is always a bonus. And there we go. Solid as a rock. So, let's have a look around the finished product. A little bit of decoration out front. For some reason I didn't look at it, but there's actually a table that I built out there as well from cinder blocks and plywood. Using the same principle in there. Nice little mix. So we've got Abraham Finch working his shop. Plenty of signs, because it is his place after all. I like that we've managed to reasonably organise all the stuff on the shelves, but also have it suitably disorganised at the same time. It's just sort of uh, the place he sells all... He makes his actual sales in and uh, stores and sells the small bits and pieces. No idea how Kira got in here or what she's doing, but there we go. She's just hanging out in his office. And that is our very, very simple little shop conversion. So I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, do hit those buttons for me. And if you'd like to keep up with, to date with everything going on on the channel, you can find me on social media, the link's down below, and I will speak to you very soon. Thank you very much.